Welcome to another episode of the Raw Therapy Tutorials. Today, we'll add the picture taken from an island of Greece. We want to remove the colors and transform the picture into black and white. So, why black and white? In general, when we transform a picture into black and white, we reduce the color distractions and place the focus on the subject. In this example, the picture is not interesting and the contrast is flat. To make it interesting, it is not only enough to make it black and white, but we also have to increase the contrast to emphasize the details and give a more compelling effect. Let's see how we can do that with raw therapy. Just a note, this video was captured a few years ago and the name of some tools may be different. Let's edit the picture. Before making black and white, we use a fringe tool to reduce the purple fringing at the roof. Next, we go to the color tab and we enable the black and white tool. There are some options we can use to transform the picture, but we're not going to go through them in this video. We have to increase the contrast. To increase the contrast, we go back to the exposure tab and enable the tone curve. I'm using the perceptual type to adjust the contrast. In the new versions of our therapy, it is called parametric. We want to create an S-curve by increasing the lights and highlights and reducing the shadows and the darks. We can also increase the contrast even more by using the second curve. But this time we will only change the darks and the lights. Now we see that the top part of the picture is brighter than the bottom. We use the graduated filter. We move the cross higher to add some light at the center of the picture. We enable the tone mapping and we increase the strength to give a more dramatic view of the walls. Next, in the lab adjustments, we select the L as parametric. The L stands for lightness. We again create an S curve to improve the picture even more. We enable the vignette filter to make the edges darker. We must reduce the strength of the tone mapping because it looks way too artificial. In the details tab, we enable the noise reduction, although we are not expecting to see any difference because the photo was taken with low ISO. Contrast by detail levels is another important tool in the details lab. We enable it and we check the final results in the preview after we zoom in. If you are not happy with the result, you can decrease the effect. After applying these new settings in the details tab, we can see that the contrast is too high. 
going to make some final touches in the exposure tab. We can increase the bar of the shadows and we can play with the strength of the graduated field. In the wavelet levels, we can use the contrast to increase the contrast of the picture even more. As final touch, we increase the vignette filter even more to add a more artistic effect. With the comparison tool, we can see the difference compared to the initial picture. You can find the link for the picture in the notes below to experiment yourself. Thank you for watching.